breaking news, Nigerians. Finally, court orders DSS DG Ajayi to appear for denying Namdekano's lawyers' access to him. So, guys, finally, the Federal High Court summons the DSS director over alleged contempt in Namdekano case. A Federal High Court in Abuja has issued a summons to the Director General of the Department of State Service, DSS, Adola Uluwatosi Hajai, over alleged contempt of courts linked to the detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdi Kano. The court ordered dated October 24, 2024, commands Ajayi to appear and explain why he should not be committed to prison for defying a previous court ruling. The issue at hand revolves around the DSS refusal to comply with a court order that mandated the agency to allow Kano's lawyers three days visitation rights each week at the DSS facility in Abuja. These visitation is crucial for Kano to adequately prepare his defense. However, according to court documents, Kano's legal team, led by a lawyer Ijimako, Esquire, was denied access to their client on October 22 under directive purportedly issued by Ajayi. The notice explicitly stated, you are hereby required to attend the court on the first mentioned day to show cause why an order for your commuter should not be made. This legal development further intensifies the ongoing judiciary proceedings surrounding Kano, who faces a seven count charge of treasonable felony. Previously, on September 24, Kano had positioned Justice Binta Inyako, the as petitioned Justice Binta Inyako, the presiding judge, to rescue herself from his case, citing basis despite uh, uh, citing basis despite this, the matter was reassigned to continue under the same judge. The summons was also served on the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Latif uh, San alongside the Prosecution Council for the Federal Government, Amowulu San. Well, uh, we don't hear him. Don't also forget to say all these things. Not them. Not them, they, not them be the lawmakers. They are the same lawbreakers. Let's see how far this will go. Now, today, DSS begin to disobey court order. Not be today. So, if anybody thinks that the DSS is working on its own just wake up it's not working on its own all these ones are just federal government's handwork well nigerians like as i said before the federal high court has issued a showcase notice to the director of the department of state service dss adeola ajayi following the secret police decision not to allow nam the canoe uh, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, access to his lawyers. The notice signed by the court registrar ordered the DSS DG to showcase why he would not be imprisoned for disobeying his earlier order, allowing Kano access to his lawyers. On October 18th, the Abuja Federal High Court warned Ajayi that he will be liable for content for failure to allow lawyers access to Kano in DSS custody. On October 23rd, the DSS operatives reportedly disobeyed a court order by barring Kano's lead counsel, allowing Ijumako and other members of the legal team from having access to IPOB leader. Kano is currently detained at the DSS facility in Abuja, despite court judgment ordering his release. However, disclosing the new notice from the courts on Friday, Ijimako insisted that the DSS DG was acting on the legal advice from his counsel, Ajayi Ashiweju Amowolo. In a statement he signed, 
uh, Ejimako said yesterday, the registrar of the Federal High Court, Abuja, issued a judiciary process against Mr. Uh, Oluwa Tosi Ajayi, the Director General of State Security Service, to show case why he should not be committed to prison for the disobedience of court order consigning visitations to Nnamdi Kano by his lawyers. The notice which he signed by the Registrar of, of, of Federal High Court, Abuja, states, Inter Hile, take notice that the defendant will appear to this court for an order for your commuter to prison for having disobeyed the order of this court made on the 20th day of May 2024. By this notice, Mr. Ajayi will be required to personally appear in court to answer for himself. This notice was triggered by the refusal of Mr. Ajayi to retrace his steps after he was on 18th October 2024 issued a judiciary warning by the Registrar of the Federal High Court, Abuja. On the panel consequences of his persistent disobedience of the court ordered cancel visitation to Mazenam de Kano. So in particular, on 23rd October 2024, acting on the instructions and orders of Mr. Ajayi, armed officers of the DSS barricade Mazenam de Kano's lawyer, Aloy Jimako, okay, and others from uh, having access to Mazenam de Kano on a routine visitation amid uh, discussing his case with him and uh, uh, asserting his general well-being, it was the contemplation of the judiciary notice that made us to embargo any official press statement on this matter until this moment. So guys, uh, this is the latest development from for now. So let's see how far they go on this. Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.